So how do you know when God's answering your prayers? How do you know when you're being hurt? Because I know, especially when you're walking through the darkness, the dark night of the soul, or maybe you're going through just a dark period, or maybe you feel like you're under attack, whatever the case may be. There are lots of, you know, there's differences because there's difficulties of this world. We live in a fallen world and things are going to happen. So sometimes, you know, people say there's a reason for everything. I don't believe that. I believe we live in a fallen world and bad things happen. I do not believe there's a reason for a child to be raped. I do not believe there's a reason for a pedophilia or a murder or other than the fact that the person that is the perpetrator is sick um, or a control freak or whatever the case may be, okay? But I do believe, because it says so in Scripture, that the Lord will take, He can take any situation and make it come together for good. It doesn't mean He caused it. doesn't mean He's okay with it. It means He can take it and make it work together for good. So that could be a reason bad things are happening to you. There's no reason. We just live in a fallen world. Number two, it could be that you have fallen down into the wrong path. Maybe you're walking in sin or in darkness and you don't even know it. Because let's face it, most of us don't say, hey, today I'm going to do something that's going to be upsetting to God or other people. You may be doing it without even your own awareness. That's why we have to keep ourselves in check. That's why I always tell people to keep an accountability notebook. Uh, write it down at the end of the day. I'm sorry for the shaky video. My kitty's over there on the other side of the table shaking things up. Um, so it could be, you know, that you're walking down the wrong path. And it's and what happens when you start falling into the um, deception of sin, the deception of lies is... Um, or the the deception of the evil one it is things look really great at first and you think oh good i'm on the right path or whatever and then they all tend to fall apart if you're walking on the right path and you truly are aligned with god things might not come together right away but ultimately they will if you hang in there and keep the faith, that's the difference between, you know, aligning with God and aligning with evil. And like I said, a lot of times we align with evil and don't even know it. That's why we have to know the, the scripture says my children fall for the lack of knowledge. That's one of the ways it happens. Okay. So it could be just, we live in a fallen world. It could be just that you're going down the path, wrong path. It could be that you are, you know, let no man expect to receive anything without faith. Maybe you're not walking in faith. There's a lot more to the world than positive thinking. You know, it kind of makes me cringe when people are like, just keep positive. Because sometimes it's beyond that. Sometimes it's spiritual warfare. But one thing that's always true is if you keep the faith, you are going to come out victorious. Okay. And the next thing could be that you are, you do, you're not walking in darkness. You are do. you're aligned with the Lord. You're on the right path and you're under attack. And when you're under attack, people, situations, everything can go into fire. You know, the devil is not all powerful, but it can feel that way when he's after you. And he's not omnipresent either. He can't be with every person at the same time. So how can so many people be going through this at the same time? Because remember, a third of the angels fell. So he's got a third of the angels working for him. Okay, so how do you know if God's answering your prayers? Because if, especially if you're going through this stuff, first of all, make sure you're aligned with God because he's not going to, he wants you, you know, what's more important to him than your comfort is your integrity, your soul, your salvation. Okay, so he's going to work on those things first. And if you have to face a little bit of the music to let that happen, he's going to let that happen. He's going to be right there with you when you fall, but he, you know, with these gentle reminders, but he will allow it to happen. Just like we talked about in another video where the Eagle daddy swoops down, he lets the eaglet fall, but he swoops down and catches him. Okay. Um, so faith, 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 much more important than positive thinking. The reason that I push the positive thinking thing and the positive word that is always truth is because when you start getting those negative thoughts in your ear, the enemy puts the negative thoughts in your ear. If you speak out a positive truth, you are blocking that immediately. Okay. Another reason to stay positive and to send prayers to, to your enemies is because you're blocking any attacks that they can personally send to you. By walking in love, by praying for your enemies, you are blocking them. 
when I was going through a really difficult time, there were people, I got to tell you, talk about attack. There were people that I thought loved me that were spreading all kinds, and this is 20 years ago, that were spreading all kinds of lies about me, trying to absolutely destroy me, and they brought me down. I still have the soul wounds from that because what they did is digged up some soul wounds that were already there. This man that I was absolutely in love with, um, not only did he walk away for another woman, but uh, vicious lies were spread. And then, you know, when I thought all the dust cleared and everything was fine and I had moved on, then, he, you know, the attacks went on to my children. So um, it was years and years and years of torment with that. And I remember crying out, Lord, why are you allowing this to happen? But I can tell you that through that time, my character changed. My um, faith grew even more strong. The worst of the worst times brought me closer and closer to God and brought me to where I am. So I know that today I have a genuine, legitimate uh, relationship with God, the creator, Jesus, the savior, you know, and, and maybe that wouldn't have been so strong had I not gone through that. Now, I'm not saying I hope for you that you go through something like that. And I still suffer the wounds from that. My children suffer the wounds from that. And that breaks my heart. But yet I know without doubt now that the Lord is truth, that walking in the Lord is the right way. So sometimes that happens. And when that happens, if you stay in faith through the hard times, you're basically spitting on, on the, the enemy. You know, because he doesn't want, what he wants you to do is fall, you know? So anyway, back to how do you know I'm going to make this such a long video because I got so much on my mind right now. But, um, okay, so sometimes he answers through maybe um, regular life. You know, maybe somebody comes up and starts talking to you about something you prayed about and you're like, whoa, that's weird. Or you see it on TV or on the radio or um, it's the subject matter of something that you're going to that has nothing to do with anything you prayed about. When it's God answering you in this way, you're going to get, and you can even ask. There's nothing wrong with asking. You say, you know, you asked him something and you, you run into a group of people and they're talking about that exact thing and you think you got your answer. Step back and ask him, say, okay, um, uh, show me again, show me in another way. And he will. He knows you're not testing him. He knows you're just verifying. And we're supposed to verify everything, right? Um, somebody asked me the other day, how do I know if it's God or the enemy? Well, how do you know you stand in faith? And if your faith is firm, you stand in faith. And you start to discern, you know, okay? And if you're still not sure, pray about it. And he will show you again. So sometimes he shows you through everyday life. Sometimes God will use people to answer your prayer. Um, say you need a car. Um, and I'm just using a material thing just so that I can explain it a little better. And you don't have any money to buy a car or whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. And the Lord has it on this person's heart that may not even know you. Maybe they just saw you in a video or maybe they just know you via Facebook or through a friend or something. And it's on their heart, on their heart, on their heart to do something for you to or give you this car that they got sitting in their driveway or whatever the case is. So so that if that person responds to the call. Your prayer is answered to that person. If they don't respond, God will find another person to do it. But keep in mind, okay, so that's the second way that he can answer prayer. But keep in mind, we are sometimes used. So if you get all of a sudden a calling on your heart, something even if it seems bizarre, call this person that you hardly know. Or maybe you need to send a, um, 10 bucks or, you know, whatever to this person, you know. Or, or maybe you're supposed to call this person about a place or whatever it is a job or you know i've got this job opening and this person's in my head and wait a minute i don't even know that person call him anyway because it could be god talking to you so act upon it in obedience and not only will you fulfill somebody else's prayer you're doing what you're supposed to be doing so he answers us through everyday life he answers us through other people sometimes you know you'll know that you're loved ones are around because maybe that's your prayer is to know that your loved ones are okay or you'll know that your angel is around because you feel or you smell smell is our strongest sense so um, a lot of times we smell things again please be discerning because i've heard people say angel smells sweet and 
um, if you smell this, then it's an angel. Not necessarily true. Please discern the spirits. Test every spirit. Make that spirit tell you that they're of truth. Um, or maybe sometimes you'll feel like a touch or something like that. And you know, okay, it felt very familiar. It felt like my loved one. Or that could be your loved one. God is, don't ever pray to your loved ones, by the way. Pray to God that he'll allow your loved ones to come through. Or that he'll allow your angel to intervene for you. Or whatever the case may be. Um, if you feel in the back of your neck, like right at the base of the brain, if you're feeling something there, that's not good. That's where negative entities try to break through. So please use discernment, especially when working with spiritual things. Make sure if you are working in the spiritual realm, make sure you are grounded in faith and truth, okay? Because it's a very dangerous thing. People think, oh, no big deal. I mean, I see kids playing in it. Really bothered me when they came out, the um, so-called Wiccans, and I'm not gonna say all Wiccans, these so-called Wiccans came out to cast a spell against Donald Trump and they put it out on the internet. You know what bothered me about that? Is you've got these 10, 11, 12 year olds, even younger than that, or people that are totally ignorant of the truth using these things and working with quote-unquote magic it's a dangerous thing yeah for those people who are seasoned in it okay whatever you're not but these kids are just playing in with danger and it's just not right to do that you just open the door to a lot of problems for them oh anyway that's besides the point okay um so sometimes you feel the touch or you uh hear that thing on the radio or you know those are all answers right um, don't discount that. Just be discerning about it. Okay. Some people just completely discount it. No, it's evil. It's not always evil. Okay. Our guardian angel is not evil. Another way is their direct intervention. Um, have you ever asked God to close the door for you? If it's not right. Have you ever said, if this isn't right, close the door for me. And then all of a sudden, all the doors close and you think everything's going smooth. You've done everything right. And then boom, 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 boom. If you've asked for that, you can believe it's your angel working on it and closing all those doors. So be happy about it and go in the direction that you're led. Now, if you haven't asked for that, or if you haven't said, you know, show me the way or anything like that, and you're really trusting that it's God and doors are shut, and you might want to look at it and, and start praying about it and ask if, if it is, um, in fact, an attack. Um, because, you know, the devil is a counterfeit, so what he does a lot of times is he takes what God created and he makes it look a certain way. He can use it, so you better believe he knows the scriptures, he knows the way God works a lot better than we do most of the time, so we got to be really careful. And the next way is, again, intervention, but in a different way, not closing doors, but I, I never, I'll never forget the day that I was really down and out quite a few years ago, because my youngest son, who's now 20, almost 21, he was just a, a little thing. Uh, he was old enough to be in the front seat, so I don't know. I don't know how old he was, but he had a little seatbelt on, you know, we're driving down the road, and in my mind, of course, I didn't say it out loud, but I was in such a dark place. I was like, Lord, I don't want to live here anymore. I really don't. Please take me out of this world. And God used my guardian angel to show me something. He, I was driving down a hill and got to the end of the hill where there's a, a street light. It turned green and I looked quickly before I went because I, I wasn't quite stopped, but I was coming to a stop at the light and then it turned green. I looked quickly both ways and went to go and boom, this car came flying down this right in the city at about, I'd say 90 miles an hour or something close to that. I slammed on the brakes and put my arm out for my son. And I heard very clearly, why did you break? God showed me I didn't really want to die and I truly wanted to protect my son. He was showing me two things at one time. He was showing me that I really wasn't ready to go anywhere. That, well, three things, that he will protect me. He will send his angels to protect you. And three, you wanna be here for your kids. So knock it off, okay? So those are the five, mm, he answers in other ways too, but those are like the five basic most common ways, all right? You know what? If you're praying for something, don't let the enemy fool you. It's darkest before the dawn. Just before you have your breakthrough, the enemy's going to be fighting hard, hard, hard to make you think otherwise. Don't lose faith. If you need something, message me, call me, whatever. All right, you guys, take care. Have a good day.
Hi guys, just a footnote. To, I'll put this on a couple of videos. As I've told you before, I'm looking at leaving YouTube. It'll be quite a while, but I'm moving on to Patreon. I have quite a lot of coals in the fire right now. We're helping quite a few people. I've got two um, that have gone through extremely abusive situations. One of them's going through the court system. The other one is not, but they both need to hide out. They both have children, and th that takes money, and it, the whole thing, the court process, everything takes money, and they're really in danger for the situations they've been in. They have two others, believe it or not, at the same time, a uh, different kind of uh, legal situation, but they have been sexually assaulted. There's a couple, uh, actually too many to even count, homeless families. It's hitting hard. I know that jobs have opened up recently and that's great, but when you're at the bottom, 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 it's really hard to come out without a little bit of a hand up. And that's what Light Insights is all about, is a hand up. Um, and then, of course, I'm working on, I've got quite a few missing persons cases right now going on. I don't charge for those. I do hope to get expenses paid, but some people can't even do that. We don't plan on our loved ones going missing. Another thing I work on is um, unsolved crimes, murders. I don't have any right now at the time, but I do have the missing persons things. Um, I'm working on you know, help, I'm helping these people regardless, but that's why I do the raffles, that's why I do the, the discounts and stuff, because all that money goes to these causes, to these, they're personal things, I don't just give like a bunch of money, here you go to a charity, personally work on these things, and I have, sometimes I'm blessed with people to help me, and sometimes I'm not, so... Um, next thing I'm working on is getting a laptop too, which is coming very, very soon, um, in order to do a lot more classes online, um, to help a lot of people at a, in a bigger, so we can reach more people because we can go, um, we can go online and we can do it this way. It's, I do everything by phone right now, so it's kind of difficult, but, and I want to make this so quick and I tend to talk so much. I'm so sorry, but my whole point is, is if you can give hallelujah thank you and if you can't that's okay too but if you could give a dollar five dollars ten dollars a hundred dollars i'm trying to raise ten thousand dollars by the end of june 2017 all monies will go to um what light insights works for and i can give i can be accountable i can show you all the bookkeeping and all of that um if you choose that i will make that public so um so anything you can give is greatly appreciated. And again, if you can't, that's okay too. If you do need any of these services, please, please feel free to reach out. You can find me on Facebook at um, www.facebook.com forward slash graced by him one. That's my Light Insights page. I have another Light Insights page called Faith Walk, and I always have a hard time with the link to that, but I'll find out for you. Um, I'm on Google Plus Light Insights. You can join that community and find out a lot about what's going on, and of course here at YouTube or Periscope. It's all Light Insights. And um, so if you need help, or you could um, send me a personal email at answers the number four, Y-O-U-1-6 at gmail.com. If you need any kind of help like that, please reach out. Um, and if you can donate and PayPal or the other way doesn't work for you, you got to do it a different way, please reach out. Send me an email at A-N-S-W-E-R-S, -S, number four, Y-O-U-1-6 at gmail.com. And let me know. I also have the advertising thing going on today. Actually, I'm sending out a physical mailing with a couple advertisers. Um, on it and sorry about my kitty um and i will be sending out another one of the physical ones in another three months but i'll do the online ones ongoing so if you're interested in that please send me an email there too if you would like to donate you can go to www.paypal.me me forward slash light insights or www.gofundme.com forward slash please hyphen help my friend. Um, that's a site that one of my friends put up for me. Or like I said, you could, um, you could email me or something and, um, let me know how you want to do it. Or if you want to volunteer or anything you want to do. All right. Thanks again, guys. Uh, thanks for all your support and I'll see you in the next video.